Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Sly 3. In the previous episode, we took down the Phantom of the Opera, aka Octavio? Octavia? Octa that guy? The dog dude? The, the opera singer guy. We took him down. I don't remember what his name is. It's in the title of the last episode. Yeah, future me will deal with that later on. <laughs> anyway, we're starting a new episode today. Let's go. The Rumble Down Under, episode 2. At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. But little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. So, we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed for the Australian Outback. Along the way, Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings, and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. If even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. However, when we finally arrived in the outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. New training challenges available from Murray in the Hazard Room. Would you like to play? Uh, I want to say no, but they might teach us something new, right? So let's go. All right, Murray. Time to brush up on your power moves. The first one is throwing stuff. Pluck it and chuck it. That's me. To make something up, just get close and hit the circle button. To throw, just face your target and press the square button. Circle, square, ain't hardly fair. Looks like I've got plenty of rocks to throw with. Try breaking all those pillars. Can do. Okay, now Murray sounds the same as he did in the other game. Why'd he sound off for that first bit? Maybe it was because he was enlightened? Nice job. You can also pick up guards when they're knocked out. Great! I knocked the small guys out with one punch! You might have to be a little more subtle with the big flashlight guards. They're pretty tough. Sneak up behind this guy and sucker punch him while he's not looking. Then pick him up and throw him at the pillar. Gotcha. Sneak up, sucker punch, grab, throw, destroy, kid stuff. Let's see what you got. Murray's back, boys. He's back. All right, let's go. The sucker punch with triangle. I think triangle's the sucker punch. Maybe it's just a regular punch. An easy way to knock out guards is to throw something at them. Ah, the old rock to the head routine. Yep. Throw a rock at that guard to knock him out, then pick him up and throw him at that pillar. Can do, little brother. All right. So far, so good. Grab him while he's out. Well done. 
Okay, what's different about this next guy? He's got a ton of cash in his back pocket. Chump, he's just asking, begging me to rob him. That's right. You may not have the agility or technology to pick his pocket, but you can use your strength to mug him quite thoroughly. Oh, yeah. I just knock him flat, then pick him up. Once you've got him above your head, press the circle button to shake loose any coins he has and collect the goods. Keep at it until he's empty. The Murray will give this high roller a shakedown he'll never forget. Oh, so we can pickpocket them as well with Murray. I was so focused with that. I missed what the button was. I missed what the button was. Shake him with circle. Okay. <laughs> I was so, like... Amazed by the fact that we could uh, pickpocket as Murray. Excuse me? Do I have to beat him and pick him up first? Is that what they're talking about? Oh, that's great. That is so good. I love how they have their own styles, each of them, and then we just throw them. Okay, Murray. The juggle grab is one of your most powerful moves. You ready? Born ready. When facing off against smaller opponents, you can knock them into the air with your triangle button uppercut and then grab them before they hit the ground by pressing the circle button. Okay, okay. Let me see if I've got it. Hit them with my triangle button uppercut, then yank them out of the air by pressing the circle button. That right? You got it. For this test, you'll have to pull it off three times and throw the guards at that pillar over there. Don't waste your time trying to fight them. Just focus on the technique. Bring on the pain. Very cool. Okay, let's try it out. This is why we do it, though, because then we can do all these new moves. I'm glad we did do this. Good old tutorials. This isn't actually that bad. This is a lot easier to do than before. Yeah, that's really good. So smooth. Excellent work. Another handy move is your thunder flop. Oh, yeah. Terror from above. Just jump and press the square button to break this ground plate a few times. The thunder flop. That's what I learned at the very end of the last boss fight. I was like, oh yeah, we can belly flop with him. I gotta hand it to you, Burry. You're ready to take on the world. Oh yeah. We're done in here. Head outside and crack some skulls. Nice, nice. Oh, they're all in here. Okay, let's just see what gadgets we have available to us because there's definitely going to be some new ones. So the adrenaline burst is probably the same like before. Health extractor, we didn't really get to use that in the last game. We got it, but we didn't really properly use it. Berserker charge. Okay, that's like running into them. Combat dodge. Yep, another thing. Knockout dive. Leap at enemies, leaving them stunned. Okay. Spin attack. Press triangle, triangle. And square to do a powerful. Hmm. Okay, level two on that. Sure. Once again, we're just like favoring sly stuff, but we gotta get. I gotta figure out a way to get more money. I don't know how else to get more money. The miners have really tore this place up looking for opals. Watch your step. They're sure to get rough defending their claim. Oh, an entire Australian level. This is bringing me sly. Or sly? Tied the Tasmanian Tiger vibes now. Especially when they say opals. Very nice. So let's see. This guy got anything for us to take? What does the coins look like here? Oh, I can see that fast enough. I still can't see it fast enough. Ooh, it's like a little uh, owl, cat, something like that head. Some sort of head like that. Anyway, let's, <laughs> let's use the missions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking kind of that we don't have to waste time finding clues, but maybe I'm missing something. My master spends most of his time up there in that cave, overlooking the valley and contemplating the depths of deepness. I really appreciate you breaking the news to him that I want to break off my training. 
No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call master must be a heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome! He'll get inside your head and freak you out six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. Why do I feel like this is the guy that couldn't speak in the very beginning when he was like, wah, 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 wah. And, then we're, and Bentley's like, oh yeah, I know exactly what you're saying. And it's like, wait, what? What are you talking about? Uh, I didn't see there was a guy there. I thought we had to come up here to grab. Oh my goodness. That worked. I can't believe that worked. Do I crawl in here? Hello? How's this work? Is that an alligator? It's a kangaroo? Oh my goodness, it's a big green kangaroo. Wait, that's this isn't where I'm supposed to go? After all of that? Okay, we'll just we'll go this way then, fine. Oh that's an alligator over there. Okay, that's why it confused me. Okay, why did I have to come all the way up there to do this? I, I figured out how to get over here my own fancy way, which was jump over here. Okay, it didn't work that time, but <laughs> it worked the other time. Come on, come on, game. I guess they they want you to go the proper way to do these things. And now we do it again. I've already been here. Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, that's his hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable sly. The unspeakable. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. Pooped all over his place, didn't he? Oh my goodness. Oh, I like the little kangaroo's hat and everything. That's a nice little character design. Very cool. And these are like dingoes or something? I don't know what these are. These other guys are. Or are these dingoes down there? Are you a dingo, sir? That sounds very weird, but... No. You're more like a wolf? You have a... Uh... A big gun, though, I just realized, so I'm gonna get away from you. This place is packed with wall hooks. The miners must use them to haul up their drills. Looks like you're going to get some rock climbing practice. Oh boy, my favorite. My favorite of all. Ooh. Oh crap. <laughs> Really bad at grabbing onto these? Oh man, throwbacks. Okay, we did it. Why is the water green here? Is this the unspeakable that he was talking about? Did he do something unspeakable into the water supply? Sorry, Murray. Nobody's home. And by the looks of it, I'd say the guru was fighting someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling and he'd be all peaceful and they'd just get ticked. Then he'd try to find a middle way and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up and then haul him off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him! My master's a goner! Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. It's tough to say, but given the layout of the miners' camp, I'd venture a guess that they use that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go... Can we do this? Is this gonna work? Oh, that helicopter's very loud. Every oh, wait, no, it's not a helicopter. It's these saws. These saws are very loud. Oh, my goodness. Okay, just run past them. These miners have no respect for the aboriginal sacred sites. They're drilling into everything. Ayers Rock, Kings Canyon, Wave Rock, the cult. 
cultural insensitivity is sickening. Amazing how they still have different patterns for all these buttons, like the jump circle that kind of stuff. It's very nifty. I like it though. You must be the guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from his training. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. The guru won't leave the stockade until he has his walking staff and his moonstone. He also insists that we purify Air's Rock of all miners. Only then will the Dreamtime spirits be appeased, and the Guru will be free to use his powers. Sly must have impressed him in their conversation, because now he is requesting that Murray and I meet with him individually. Something about judging our spiritual centers. I've discovered a passage through one of the miner's caves that should make getting up to the Guru less difficult. He also mentioned that the miners had foolishly unearthed the Mask of Dark Earth. I guess it was his job to guard the thing, and now that it's out, bad things are sure to follow. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me, but we've encountered some unexplainable phenomena over the years, so I'm not gonna rule it out as a threat to our operation. <gasps> the bad mojo throwback. Oh my goodness, he's eating a pizza. That's amazing. <laughs> so it's a mask. Outback operation. All right, all right. So there's a mask on the coins. That's very nifty. I like that. Uh, so I switched into slide just because he's very easy to maneuver. Why is there explosions going off? I'm not really sure, but I'm assuming we have to go this way. I am starting to get a minor headache though. I feel like I should probably stop recording after this episode and then, which kind of sucks because it's only six episodes that I've recorded today. And I was really hoping to get to like seven today so I could do like a full week's worth of stuff. But maybe I'll just record earlier on like a few days from now. Uh, and we'll try that out. But I am trying, I really do want to try doing this whole record for like do a whole week's worth of episodes and then edit all those things and then do another week's worth next week and stuff and so on. I feel like that's a good way to do all this stuff. I'm not really sure if it's going to be the best way to do everything later on, but um, I think it's a good idea. I want to try it at least. Now, how the heck do I get up there? Oh, wait, there's a thing right here. Oh, they're very sneaky. Uh, can I just jump on this? Is this just a bouncy pad? Oh, it is. And then I can, like, run along this. Okay, okay. We're getting it. We're figuring it out. Ah. After capturing the guru, the Thinkos confiscated his magic walking staff and moonstone. Without these objects, the guru is powerless. Given that we're dealing with miners, I bet they stashed the goods in one of the caves around here. It's a secure location with plenty of guys on duty to provide protection. I agree. The most likely candidate is this mine shaft. It appears to have the highest number of workers coming in and out. Good place to start. I'm on it. Ah, so they are dingoes. I was right. I got something right for once. That's so good. Oh, he has something to steal. Do you have anything? Uh, why are you running away, sir? Ooh, what's that? Gold pen. <laughs> okay. Those caves are gonna be dark. Your optimizer goggles will make navigation easier. It 
If they're here, the guru's items would be stashed at the far end of this cave. Whoa. Big Jack and Daxter vibes, man. Huge Jack and Daxter vibes. Like Spider Cave esque vibes. That's what I'm getting from this. I like it though. Okay, this guy's got something to steal, so let's just uh, steal it from him. Ooh, a silver ring. Okay. Then get him out of here. Uh, oh, we got Spire jump on the ends of these points. <laughs> okay. Please, game? Are you not. Do you not recognize me as Spire jumping right now? Okay, there we go. We're like one hit away from death, but I've done it. And now we're just gonna take these coins out of this guy's back pocket. Good, you gave me some HP. I'm not into tearing up the environment or anything, but these caves are rich with opals. I can see why these miners are so driven. Ooh, rich with opals. Opals are such a cool rock, man. They're very nifty. The only reason I know about them is from Sly. Sly. Once again, I'm doing Sly. It's Ty, the Tasmanian Tiger. Is there a reason why they all rhyme? It's a different studio that made the game, but um, still. Oh, we haven't done one of these yet since we figured it out last time. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Figure it out. Go slowly around it. It's right there. Okay, let me go back. There, and then we go back forward this way. Time to take you back to your rightful owner. These miners are smarter than they look. They booby trapped the moonstone. It looks like a light sensitive detonator. If I can get it outside and into the sunlight, it should power down. Oh man, it's one of these timed missions. Thingy Medus, okay. <laughs> That's all I hear is mm -hmm, I don't. click clock, click clock, click clock, click clock, move, click clock, move, run past them all, run past them all, don't worry about them. Spire jump, spire, 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 spire jump, spire jump, <laughs> spire jump, spire jump. Uh, where do I go from here? Where do I go from here? Do you want me to jump down here onto these things? Oh, everything's standing still for me. That's good, I guess. This is the right way though, right? I don't even know if it's... Oh, there's a hook right there on the edge. I see it, I see it. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. I didn't even think to look over on the right... <laughs> I didn't even think to look on the right side though last time. There we go. The Guru's walking staff must be headed in their other cave complex. I've marked the entrance in your binocular. Where's your... where is it? Oh, it's not over here, okay. Not too shabby. <laughs> He's scratching behind his ear and his legs tapping, that's so good. Characters are so funny. I like how they uh, come up with new characters, though. Their designs are all great. Also, since we're in different parts of the world from the other games, they didn't use like, the same places twice. These caves have no ambient light whatsoever. Fortunately, it seems the Guru's Moonstone is providing enough illumination to let you see. Watch your step. These mine pits are deep. Nah, they're not that deep. They're just bottomless from my perspective. Oh, shoot. Okay. <laughs> we're okay. We're okay. It's cool that the mood stone's on his back. Nice little detail there. Oh, here it is. Now we gotta open this thing up. Okay, let's see. Where's the spot? Where is it? Right there, okay, now we're gonna go back. Yeah, and back to the right.
wonder what's so special about this staff. Another booby trap for a stick? These guys are paranoid. And from the sound of it, they've called in reinforcements. Nothing like a horde of angry dingoes to make things a bit more interesting. How the heck did they fit a stick inside one of those things? Also, why the smoke bombs? Why is it so difficult? It says get out of the cave quick. So I, can I just run past them all? I'm dead. I'm dead. One more hit. I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, let's see. Maybe I gotta hit them off up here. Clear the way a little bit. Cause yeah, we have enough time. I, I was just thinking that we had like no time. Time limits always like add a different element of stress to them, to the game, even if they're very slow. But yeah, we're actually doing all right. We have a ton of time. I have plenty of time here. I can smack all these guys off the edges and everything. Oh my goodness, how do you guys all see me? You're AI controlled, you're cheating. You're cheating, you're all cheating. I'm out of here, bye. Oh, this is slippery. Gotta make sure we jump and land on each of the rails properly. Ow! Can I just jump down here? Oh, that's it! Oh, that was, that was a lot easier than the other one. We made it! We did it! Whoop, 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 whoop. So the only place left to go is the safe house. Well, uh, I think that's going to be where we're going to leave this episode. So I want to thank everyone for watching this episode of Sly 3. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Goodbye for now, my friends. Oh my goodness, we're going to get attacked by whatever that is.